Each javelin in Anthem has a unique playstyle associated with it and a unique combo property. The Interceptor gains a powerful aura when detonating combos that forces it into close quarters combat. This aura is incredibly powerful but difficult to use to its fullest potential without dying, unless you have the right build. Today we're going to make a build that has a good mix of survivability, debuffs, and melee damage so we can get the most out of our auras. Let's get started. The two strongest status effects in Anthem are Ice and Acid. Ice freezes enemies in place, which means they can't fight back, and Acid increases the target's damage taken. The Interceptor has access to both of these status effects, so the goal of this build is to incorporate them both. To start things off, I'll be using Absolute Zero, the masterwork version of Cryoglave. This ability sends out two target-seeking glaives that deal minor damage and freeze enemies on contact. Its additional effect causes an ice explosion on impact. This ability isn't great crowd control when you compare it to the other freezing abilities found on the Storm, Ranger, and Colossus because it has a long cooldown of 20 seconds. However, since the Interceptor's combo property creates an aura around your character that matches the status you detonated, we'll be able to freeze most of the battlefield if we use our aura correctly. Now one of the negative side effects of the Interceptor's aura is that it doesn't prime enemies, it simply applies the status of the aura to the target. This is unfortunate because it means we won't be able to combo off targets that are frozen by our aura, but there is a way to get around this inconvenience. Shadow Claw, the masterwork version of Wraith Strike, sends out a ghost-like projection to a target that bounces to up to three enemies. Enemies hit by the projection are primed with your current aura effect. So we send out Cryoglave, detonate with our melee, then send out a Wraith Strike to prime the next group of enemies to detonate again. With two gear abilities locked in, there's an obvious piece of the puzzle missing, Acid. The Universal Masterwork component Acid Slugs will be the quick fix to this problem. Acid Slugs increases shotgun damage by 30%, and hitting a target with seven pellets in a single shotgun burst applies the Acid status. So now we have crowd control with Cryoglave, and we can reduce defenses with Acid applied by a shotgun. I'll be using the Papa Pump Masterwork Shotgun because it's the best one I have. The rest of my components will provide a mix of melee damage and survivability. First, another universal component called Bloodlust. It increases melee damage by 30% and melee kills increase melee damage by an additional 75% for 10 seconds. My third component is another universal component. Symbiotic Surge increases health more than the typical universal component and picking up a repair pack increases all damage by 50% for 10 seconds. Next, Way of the Bold increases Aura Combo Pulse Strength by 40%. I'm not entirely sure what that means, but I believe it increases the rate status effects are applied by the Aura. Its additional effect, Melee Kills Restore 40% Health. Vengeance Matrix increases damage dealt by 50% and increases damage taken by 25%. Its additional effect on low health damage taken is reduced by 50% for 10 seconds. Finally, we have Emergency Power. It increases ultimate damage by 30%, and when critically wounded, the ultimate meter is instantly filled. This can occur every 120 seconds. Now, if you've played a lot of Anthem, then you're probably thinking, with all those universal components, I'm not going to have a lot of health. And you're correct, but I have a lot of inscriptions on my components and weapons that increase my maximum health. So, I'll be okay. Now, let's get out into the field and see how this build works in action. Okay, people, for today's testing, we're doing a Grandmaster 2 Legendary Contract. We're going in solo like we always do, and this is going to be a lot of fun, man. The Interceptor is such a visceral, exciting character to play, and I'm looking forward to diving into it. So let's get into the action. All right, we're at the first contract location, and we have to destroy some Scar stockpiles, which is a bit unfortunate. That objective is going to keep us a little bit stationary, but doesn't matter we can still move around and kill things as we need to so the main thing that I want to do here is pick up my ice aura and then send out my wraith strike in order to prime enemies a second time the main thing that you're going to notice is that the aura does not prime enemies but the wraith strike when you send it out it does prime enemies and we can use that to pick up a second combo to give us additional energy for our ultimate all right, so I've completed the objective, and I just have to defeat the remaining enemies, so we're going to go ahead and do that. We'll apply the freeze. Killed the enemy, so I'm not going to have an aura unless I use my shotgun to pick one up, so I will do that. I don't have the freezing aura active, but the acid aura is all right. It's going to increase the target's damage taken. I'm going to break his shield from range so I can prime him with the acid, and then we start going in. I do have my... Ooh. 
emergency power gonna save me there i took a bit too much damage we'll activate the ultimate to recover all of our health and enter this invulnerable state Oh boy, we're fighting a lot of Scar today. So one of the biggest differences between the Interceptor and the Storm, Ranger, and Colossus is that they don't have as many buffs that they have to maintain at, at all times. But the manual execution required to play the Interceptor efficiently and effectively is significantly more demanding. Just moving around like this, constantly changing positions, it's, uh, it's a bit taxing. Let's activate our ultimate before we die. That, that was, I was dancing with death a little bit there. One of the main struggles f that I've been finding with the Interceptor in this build in particular is dealing with Scar Hunters or flying enemies in general. I just don't have any way to knock them down. My, my shotgun, it's not the best. Shotguns in Anthem are not very strong. So I can't really challenge a Scar Hunter. I just have to run away until he lands and then go absolutely berserk when they land and not allow them to get back up again so there there, there are certainly weaknesses to this build but there are a lot of strengths grounded enemies trash enemies you cut through them like butter and it feels great so we've got scar hunter on the ground but he's gonna go right back up and it's a legendary there's really nothing i can do about it i'm just gonna kind of kite him around until he stops shooting at me when he goes down we send out that ice unfortunately his shield started to recover just just as I threw out my, my freeze ability, but that's okay. We have the acid aura and we can use that in tandem with the wraith strike to continue comboing enemies. That's building a lot of ultimate energy for us so we can uh, enter that invulnerable state and deal a hell of a lot of damage. So I could send out the ultimate right now and I think that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, I'm just, I'm gonna do it. My target beacon missed, unfortunately. It just went into the ground and disappeared, but it's fine. It's totally fine. All right, before we close out, I started up another Grandmaster 2 Legendary Contract. I just wanna drill home the fact that the ability to freeze enemies and increase their damage taken at the same time, that is one of the most valuable things you can do in Anthem. It allows you to shred through enemies without breaking a sweat, without worrying about getting mauled by their counterattacks. And it feels truly amazing to have both of those status effects on the same build. There are a lot of different ways to do that, but on the Interceptor, it, it feels beautiful and, and it flows together very nicely. Right, you get your aura started and you, you basically have an unlimited access to the the freezing effect and because you're you're priming enemies in addition to just freezing them when you're using the wraith strike it's double benefits Ooh, hello see right there there was a scar enforcer standing behind me and i totally didn't notice him because i was talking but he got frozen by my aura so now i go in and i rip his butthole open So the last thing that we'll do before we wrap up is just go through the rotation one more time. On a big enemy like the Scar in Forest, so we throw out the target beacon, send in the freeze, get our combo, apply the acid, and then we just maul him to death while he can't do anything to stop us. If he was a legendary Scar Enforcer, the freeze would still take effect, but he'd be able to move. But we'd still be able to, to get some pretty serious damage on him without much worry about our own safety. We've taken a lot of damage here, but emergency power gonna cover my ass, kind of the way it, it always does. I should probably make a build without that that component one of these days, so I can prove that I'm not awful at this game. So again, going for the freeze, target beacon, Activate our aura, apply the acid, and now we go to work. Now we've got a few too many enemies here, so I'm going to pull back. I overheated. I didn't realize I was on fire while I was flying. Still have the ice aura. I'll send out the wraith strike to prime those enemies, then I can re-get the aura. Let's throw out... Ooh, please, please freeze. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
See, this is exactly it right here. We are in a ridiculous situation, but because we are freezing all the enemies that we're facing, we're able to just kind of chill in, in, this, in this unsafe space and put in some work. All right, the last thing for real, for real, that we're gonna do is fight in Ursix. This is a big, big meaty target that we can use to show off the damage that the build is doing. So we apply the target beacon, Hit him with some acid, detonate the combo, apply the freeze. Now we can continue to combo him with the acid status. The melt is real. And so is the loot. Still needs to be buffed. Anyway, um, I don't want to talk about it. And there we go, man. That's going to do it for the build for today. This is an incredibly powerful way to play the Interceptor. There's so much good stuff going for it. We have the ability to freeze a single target with our Cryoglave. Let me pick up that Ice Aura and we'll continue to freeze large groups of enemies. The battlefield will be completely immobilized. But one of the major downsides to the Interceptor's Aura is that it doesn't actually prime enemies. It just applies the status effect to them. That's where the Wraith Strike comes in. You can spread that prime and recombo to build even more ultimate energy. Or you can use that to set up combos for your teammates you got a colossus you send out that rate strike they go in and smash the field get a big combo detonation you take it one step further with the target beacon you can mark a single large enemy like a legendary enforcer legendary hunter whatever the case is and you just wail on them you apply your acid status apply that target beacon the target gets melted like butter and it feels really really good so with all of that said, we're going to wrap this up here, but don't worry, there are plenty more Interceptor builds to come. There's a lot of cool stuff you can do with this Javelin. So if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to support the channel more than you already do just by watching, liking, subscribing, and commenting, you can head over to patreon.com slash iBlueAirJGR to become a patron. As always, the name of the game is Anthem, and the name of the channel is iBlueAirJGR. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.